Hi Survivors, it's me, Purple Zan, reporting to you. Hope you guys are doing well because what's going on in this world is not. I want to come out here and talk to you guys today about the warnings. Be prepared for these nukes, y'all. And it's not, a, it's not here, to, I'm not here to scare you. So don't be scared, just be prepared. I've been having people calling me and also sending emails. I thank all you guys who've been sending me the emails. And well, I think it was Queen who let me know, uh, send me a video about in New York, y'all. They are actually showing commercials, telling people, wanting the public to be prepared for nuclear attacks. Giving people instructions of what to do. If you're outside, run in the building. Stay away from the walls. Go in the middle of the building or go in the basement. Take cover. If you're out there and you get a, 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 affected in any way, if it gets on you or whatever, as soon as, the, as soon as you get indoors, before you get indoors, discard your clothes. You know, all these different things, y'all. It's getting serious. I had a friend in uh, uh, another part of Texas told me she also saw a commercial uh, warning them of the same thing and also to be, be prepared for EMP attacks. So in this community, you know, y'all, we try to stay a step ahead of the game. So that's why I'm warning y'all. If you don't have your potassium oxide sat tablets, your radiation gear, or, or or alternatives, now is the time to be getting those things. It's really past time, but you got a little time before they start dropping them out here. I'm telling y'all, I don't put none past these miserable monsters. These satanic, demented, demented evil people. However you got to find them, you can find them. I also have them on my website, and I tell you all the time, if you, you don't have to get anything from me, just make sure that you get these things, y'all. These people are so bad. They're so terrible. You know what I was thinking about the other day? All of us have lost ourselves. We lost our names. We lost who our true identity. We don't even eat the way we're supposed to eat. We don't even think the way we're supposed to think. We don't even live the way we're supposed to live because we're under this satanic spell with these cannibalistic people. So we we under they under they rule and under they system. Ain't that ugly? These people don't have a soul in their bodies. All they feed off of is greed. They feed off the people. And they need people to constantly do for them because they weak and demented. Just strip people of all their culture, all their culture, all their rights, who they are, who they are, their names, and true identities. Sit up here eating the kind of stuff that they be eating. We're not supposed to be eating that. You're supposed to be eating what brings life to your body. You're supposed to think thoughts that bring life to you. Positive, productive thoughts. You know, I went to church Sunday, y'all. I had a good time in church. I thank God for the word of God. I'm not a saint. And like, unlike a lot of y'all, I don't kill the messenger. I just listen to the message because none of us, all of us sin and we fall short of the glory of God. So nobody is perfect, you know. Whether you're a saint or a sinner, you need to keep asking God every single day for forgiveness. I do. We want God to forgive us of our sins, so we need to be asking God on a daily, the most high, every day for uh, forgiveness. And the message was so beautiful. It was in Hebrews. Well, I think it was chapter 13 and verse 15. It was saying that um, always be grateful for what you have. Don't complain because your situation could be way worse. And why are we thinking that we have so much less and we have less? Thank God for the less so God can multiply it to more. And we never know what's God's reasons for putting you in that position. It could be one day so that you can be passionate about other people who are going through what you once went through. You know, and maybe you will start nonprofit organizations or you start communities or uh, missions to help those people in those areas. See, you have to go through some things to get through things and also, you know, to fulfill your purpose on this earth. God don't put us through hard times for nothing. And I think a lot of us, we stray away from that and we don't realize that. It also said, praise God through the good and the bad. Be grateful for the small things that you have. It also said to also repent every single day, constantly ask the most high for forgiveness. And then it ended with share, share your blessings, whether you have it like that or not. 
You see somebody hungry, get them something to eat. You see somebody thirsty out here in this heat, get them a bottle of water or something like that. And even if you don't have it, you'll be surprised how God would bless you to have more in abundance because you took a leap of faith and you and you you believe that no matter what your situation is, I'm going to share and I'm going to look out for my brother, man, in, in, even in the midst of my storm because I know and I have faith that I'm going to be blessed. I'm going to tell you a story what happened to me. I have so many testimonies. God has truly been good to me in my life. And this is why I don't fear nothing or nobody. Because God has got me through everything. That's how and why I can come on here and talk about lying. And them fake politicians that y'all love so much. Me and my daughter was once homeless, right? We were sleeping in the park. Literally. This is a true story. And, uh... The homeless people was telling us about the church to go to. They's like, they're going to feed you every day. You know, you get you some socks, some clean socks over there, some some clothes if you need it. We went over there. We called ourselves going over there to eat, you know. We didn't know they had all these other different services. Went over there, and they started praying over all of the, all the homeless people that who were there, fed us good, and they took us to a room, took off our shoes, took off our socks, and started washing our feet. I never had nobody do that for me in my life, even my family members. When I was young, before I ran away, they never done nothing like that. I'm like, these people don't know me. I'm homeless. My feet are dirty. They're washing my feet. And after they washed our feet, they dried our feet and put us some clean socks, gave us new shoes, gave us clothes. And, um, and I was like, this love was unbelievable. And so I started, I joined that church, and even in the midst of my time when I was homeless, I started feeding the homeless people. Even though I was still homeless, I would go, I volunteered to feed the homeless people. I started washing people's feet as well, even in the midst of what I was going through. And do you know God just delivered me instantly and blessed me in abundance through giving? Through giving, even while I was down. So I like to encourage you guys to have faith. Don't be stingy. Don't be selfish. That's what these people who are in power are doing. They feed off of greed. That's why their kingdom is falling on them. And all they're doing is bringing a whole, whole bunch of, uh, what you call it, uh, condemnation upon themselves and their families and their future generations. One day they're going to be on that other side. So let's give and let's love. Let's repent. Let's pray. Let's ask God for forgiveness on a daily basis. And let's get prepared and not be scared. These people are demented and evil. Want to play as if they're the most high. Think they have to take matters into their own hands about what's going on with the planet when they're not even doing the right things for the planet. And it's all because of them. The, the planet is in peril right now. They're deliberately doing things to destroy life. But you have faith. And you stand strong and firm in the word of God. And if you don't, I'd like to encourage you too. You can work out all day. You can get prepared all day. But if you don't embed yourself in a strong foundation in the word, good luck with that. Please follow me on my other platforms. Give me a thumbs up, please. I'll be forgetting to tell you, ask you guys. Please like this content. And um, if it's your first time listening, and if you want to build your faith and get prepared and not be scared and be aware of what time of day it is out here, hit that subscribe button. And you guys, y'all can get some survivalism gear, some IOSAT potassium tablets, and your nuclear gear on my website. Links will be in the description. You don't have to get them for me. Just make sure you start getting these things. Prepare yourself. Stay prayed up. Pray with your family every single day. Every single day. And follow me on other platforms. Links will also be in the description. And watch this world. Watch the weather. Smell your water. Boil your water before you use it. And keep surviving.